Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Ayoki Lee Simmons being caught on the beach in St. Bart's with that old-ass man, Vittorio Asa. He's a restaurateur. That bag is long. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Y'all, I ain't gonna even hold you. I am gagged, just like y'all are. I did not expect this. But you know what? My mama used to say years ago, she used to say, Russell's daughter, Ayoki, she said she gonna be the one. She gonna be with old men just like him. Because that's going to be God's way of punishing Russell. Russell is a predator. He don't live in the U.S. no more for a reason. Because he's trying to escape his damn karma. But see, you can't escape God. God sits high, looks low. You can't escape God. You out there living in Bali, and yes, God got your ass with the same karma. Children have to bear the sins of their father. So now your daughter is following up behind you and her mama, being young with some old ass rich dude. You know what I'm saying? Just funny how that worked out. And my mama said it was going to be Ayoki because Ayoki looked just like her daddy. So just a damn shame. Um, but yeah, everybody diving on Kimura because they like, Kimura, you supposed to be the one, you know what I'm saying? Or you were marketing yourself as the one who was just so enlightened and just so above the bullshit and just, you know what I'm saying? Russell's a demon, you know what I'm saying? You, you was telling us, you know, how you was the responsible parent. But how the fuck you look with your daughter pooched out on the beach with this old ass man? Like, you don't look too good your damn self. And Kamara, you stay laying down with a sketchy-ass nigga. Because the husband that you got now definitely got caught up in some money laundering embezzling bullshit. So, Kamara, just calm yourself down. Because you have a history of getting yourself involved in situations that you need to just be quiet in. You got up there and you ran your mouth about Diddy and Russ. You know what I'm saying? Now look at you. You run, you went out there, run your mouth in that Jordan Woods and Kardashian beef. Now look at you. You got your own shit going on with your kids. Your daughter is starving herself, and now she's selling it. And she got a whole Harvard degree. So, Kamora, you know what I'm saying? Please clean your own house before you go running your mouth about other people and what they got going on. Um, But let's talk about this with this Harvard degree. Ayoki. This is how I know this is nothing but God's karma and industry antics and bullshit. Because it's like, Ayoki, you do have a Harvard degree. Off the name of that school alone, you you can major in goddamn knitting. You can major in basket weaving. And you can get a job anywhere you want. Because the name of that school holds so much weight. So you could go get a job anywhere you want. But see, a lot of celebrity kids don't want to work a regular job. A lot of celebrity kids think that they're too good for a regular job. They want to, again, follow up behind their parents. They want to go get a glamorous job. They want to go work in the music industry. They want to go be professional athletes and go be rich and famous. They want to go be models and really do nothing for a living, like, or be influencers. A lot of celebrity kids are even worse than the kids that are raised by people who have nine to five because celebrity kids, again, they never watch their parent have to work a nine to five. So they damn sure ain't trying to have nine to five day self. They just like, no, I'm going to go start a business, which is fine. But a lot of them don't even want to go do that. A lot of them don't have the brains to go run and operate um, a successful business. So in business, starting a business requires, again, intelligence, work, strategy, all of that. Money management. A lot of celebrity kids, they want it the easy way. They see their parents, again, was rich and famous, so they just want to be rich and famous. They don't really want to put in no grind time. So that's why we see a lot of them, what do they go do? They go model, and they go try to make music or be influencer. You know what I'm saying? These little just raggedy-ass dreams, little pipe dreams that they have. And Aoki is looking like a mixture of that with a double dose of your goddamn parents' karma. Now, everybody's saying that, Kimora uh, and her daughters that their money is funny because Russell is not um, footing the bill on their lifestyle anymore. I believe that to an extent, but I believe Kimora is your typical Asian mama because a lot of Asian women have the stereotype that they are all about getting money 
And it's not just, you know, I'm not trying to be racist, but I'm just saying. I know a lot of Asian women who have this stereotype. They definitely all about getting the bag. Kimura is also a tourist. So, yeah, tourist women don't play about that money. Um, and Kimura is a get money type of chick. You know what I'm saying? She's a get money type. So, yeah, she'd probably be like, y'all bitches is grown. You know what I'm saying? You over the age of 21, you got your degree. If you don't want to work, go sell some ass. Because I got other kids to put through private school. I got me a rich one. Go get you one. You too old to still be on my payroll. Go get your ass a job. Or, you know what I'm saying? Even if that's a man. So, I think that that's what's really going on here. Um, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what it's looking like. Um... I hate this for Aoki because it's just like, girl, you sat up there uh, at Harvard for four years. You've been in private school your whole life, and you did not meet one rich trust fund baby boy to be with. You didn't find no boy who was majoring in economics to go lay up under while he go pursue a career uh, in hedge funds, private equity, venture capital, investment banking. Y'all, I went to school for um, economics and business. So I know of these good, good jobs that people can get. I work in that industry now. So that's my day job. So it's just like, what is you doing? But again, a lot of this is parental karma. Because Kimura always talked about, oh, I was groomed and all of that. You were groomed. And your mama sold you for a check. Because if Russell was the average dude, the average older dude, your mama would not have allowed him to touch you. Your mama probably told Russell, if you don't want me to go to the police or if you want to date my daughter, you're going to have to give me a little bit of a kickback. You know what I'm saying? Cut that check. And Russell did what? He cut that check. That's why we know who these people are now. Russell Simmons so it's just a damn shame like I know Aoki she she seems to be loving this because I think a lot of this is wanting that validation for being beautiful and sought after and lusted after and yeah she looking for a bag her father ain't shit you know what I'm saying he ain't shit so now well, here we have Exhibit A, her laid up with some old ass men. I really feel sad for this girl because I feel like she got a lot of growing to do ahead of her between the modeling industry, her self-esteem, again, her body issues. You know, again, she's always had a nice body. She's just still trying to be even slimmer, knowing she'll need to lose no weight. You know what I'm saying? She already slim. She's got good genes. Like this girl been slim all her life, but she got all of this going on and you know, again, her father ain't shit, and it's just like, it's just so sad to see her having to really, really bear a lot of that karma, and she got to really work through it on a spiritual level, that's what we're really watching, y'all, like, this is a spiritual thing, Ayoki can go get a, can go get a rich young dude, but she probably don't want to be with one because she got some father problems going on, you know what I'm saying? Nothing that I have not lived before. So it's just so, again, it's just sad. And as far as Kimura, Kimura is just all about the bag. You know what I'm saying? Kimura don't give a damn. Like, Kimura likes a certain lifestyle. She lives out in California, last I checked. And California is very expensive. I'm sure her house not paid off. She got an expensive house, a bunch of kids, high-ass taxes. Child, Kimura is like, bitch, I'm too busy getting money. So she not thinking about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? How you think, again, how you think she got it with an old-ass man? So she's telling her daughter the same thing. You want some quick bread? Go get you an old-ass man. You know, we repeat the, the patterns and the sins of our parents. So y'all just pray for Aoki. Pray for her safety because rich men are dangerous. And I'm just hoping that, again, that she grows and learns from this. But other than that, let's talk in the comments, y'all, what y'all think. Bye.